The situation in the Kharkiv region between Kupiansk and Borovaya has deteriorated significantly. The Russian armed forces are advancing towards the borovaya kupiansk road, which is the main logistics route in this area. The enemy troops are already in the area of the village of Krugliakovka, where there is a fork in both roads on both banks of the Oskol. If the Russian armed forces bring reserves here, this could lead to a breakdown in logistics and very bad consequences for the army of Ukraine. The Russian army continues its intensive attacks in the Donbass region of Ukraine. Deep State says that during the last day, the Russians managed to advance in the territory of seven settlements, especially in the vicinity of Uglidar and Toritsk. The enemy has advanced near New York, Sukurini, Gurnik, Vadian, Uglidar, Prechestivka and Toritsk, the Ukrainian portal writes. British intelligence reports that the Russian invaders have advanced in the northeastern part of the Kharkiv region and want to reach the eastern bank of the Oskil River. This is stated in the message of the Ministry of Defense of the United Kingdom. In the Ukrainian northeastern region of Kharkiv, Russian forces have advanced westwards from Pishchain village. They now occupy a small salient 3.5 kilometers from the Oskil River. It is likely that Russian forces aim to reach the eastern bank of the Oskil River to use as a natural defensive barrier and set conditions for future operations, the message reads. At the same time, the agency notes, the main goal of Russian troops remains Pokrovsk in the east of Ukraine. It is claimed that the aggressor state Russia has with a high probability captured the towns of Hrdivka, east of Pokrovsk, and Ukrainsk, south of the city. Russian forces remain approximately 8 kilometers from Pokrovsk. Ukrainian reinforcements, urban areas, and Ukrainian defenses structures have likely contributed to slowing Russia's advance on the Axis in the past week, British intelligence added. Residents of the Kursk region were shown fragments of broadcasts from federal Russian television channels which called for carpet bombing, raising their region to the ground. Ukrainian military decided to conduct an experiment and showed these shots to residents recording their reaction on video. The fragments shown are broadcasts from Channel 1 as well as a talk show where Russian deputies and experts propose to complete destruction of everything, including local residents that are located in the territories occupied by the Ukrainian armed forces. In order to drive out the enemy, we need to destroy everything that is there, said Russian Duma deputy Zatulin. At the same time, Russians were horrified looking at the plans for the liberation of the region that are being made in Moscow. This is absolutely horrific, said one of the Russian women, commenting on what she saw. Moreover, the local Russian authorities of the Sudzansky district of the Kursk region made a new statement. Local deputy Alexander Kramarenko, in an appeal to the state Duma deputy Kaplan Panesh, stated that Moscow did not evacuate residents during the offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces due to the military's demand to avoid panic. The head of the district claims that the military command urged him not to allow panic among the population. In practice, this resulted in the people being simply abandoned to their fate. In this case, press secretary of the Russian dictator Putin, Dmitry Peskov, commented on the information of the Russian mass media that relatives of residents of Sudza in the Kursk region asked Putin and Zelensky for a corridor for the evacuation of civilians, Russian media reported earlier. According to Peskov, the Kremlin allegedly did not receive requests for evacuation from residents of the city of Sudza, which is currently controlled by Ukrainian armed forces. To be honest, this is the first time I've heard about this. Unfortunately, we haven't seen anything and haven't received anything about it, he said. It is worth noting that on September the 13th, 2024, the Russian publication Kommersant published information that residents of the Sudzansky district of the Kursk region appealed to the presidents of Russia and Ukraine with a request to open a humanitarian corridor for the evacuation of civilians as soon as possible. The appeal was accompanied by a list of names of relatives and friends, a total of 186 people, including seven children. Later, this message was published by other Russian media. By the way, a video message from residents of the village of Guevo in the Kursk region also appeared on the internet. 
People also appealed to the Russian authorities, but the Kremlin did not respond, and the local authorities, the protégés of dictator Putin, simply abandoned them and did not evacuate them. Сделать так.